Liz. Hey, about my news yesterday. Yeah, about your condition. The news? Yeah. yeah. Mum's a word, gay. Okay? Yes, mum. <laughs> no, mum. <laughs> okay, cool. Promise. <sighs> Guys, come on over. Hey. Huh? Please sit. Really? I have much room. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Great. So, do we have an animated series or what? How did the meetings well, go? Well, they went well. They went well. They were, uh, you know, yeah. three down and many more to go. Awesome. Huh? Right? Huh? Are you excited? <laughs> he did good. He did good for his first time, eh, Zagaroni? That's right. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Good. You know that corporations are prospecting water as if it's oil. I mean, there are corporations that are pressuring the government, including the Canadian government, to privatize water, meaning that water is going to become a hot commodity. I it's just wish I could fire her. Gosh. What? Rini. Oh my gosh, she won't do anything for me anymore. My eye hurts. Oh, and she hey, won't even Murphy, file. Do you not care what I'm talking about? I mean, it's important. Like, Celeste at work, she was looking on the internet last night. She knows that I'm interested in environmental causes. And she, you know, just gives me all this, like, amazing research on what is going on. I mean, you know, the bottle, bottled water industry, for example, that is a $22 billion business. You know, hmm. and it's causing like 90% of the bottled water is not even in renewable um, packaging. It's well, not recyclable. Well, Dana, uh, here's a news flash. I fill this up at home with my Brita. You mean your Brita? The Br Brita what? Brita. Yes, I've had this bottle for months. Well, that's you great that you're doing that, but I mean, there's a, mil a billion people that do not have adequate access to okay. drinking water. I mean, great, Dana, can we talk about something lighter? <laughs> kind of more fun? Like this pair of shoes I saw today. Oh yeah. Brown slingback, <gasps> really high, very oh, sexy. Oh, that would look nice with your suit. Very oh. nice. Hi, Johnny. Well, hello, Nicole. How you doing? Fine, thanks. How are you? I'm good, Mike. Wow, boom. Boom! What what's going on here? You're not wearing the old uh, Salvation Army uniform? No, I changed at work. I thought. And your your hair's golden locks are flowing down. <laughs> My goodness, you look prettier than the Georgian Bay sunset. Right about now. Thanks, Johnny. Wow. It's nice of you to say. Wow. So what's uh, what's the, what's the deal there? I just um, I'm making some changes in my life. You know, I'm just. Yeah. You're over that married turd, or what? <laughs> uh, trying to make some changes. Corporations have started to sue governments in order to, uh, to gain access to domestic water sources. Okay, mark my words. The wars of the next century are going to be about water. How did you and Robin, my intern, plan this today? Were you on the phone or on the internet? Let's, let's just drive Liz insane today. What? She was, she was giving me the same kind of stuff today. We're launching this new product. She doesn't like the packaging. She thinks the packaging is overdone. I listened to her concerns about the packaging, told, us, told her about our packaging reduction program, didn't care, still went to three of my colleagues, Brenda, and complained. Oh, her usual kidding. flair for business protocol. It's astounding. Liz, it's kind of like we have a similar problem. Oh, you yeah? Should yeah, you should just get rid of that, Robin. Oh, no, no, she is going to the recycling bin. <laughs> I can't believe you. You're gonna actually fire somebody because they're not being selfish? They're actually standing up for what they believe in? No, she's not being fired. She's being recycled and reused. <laughs> Reduced. <Fine. laughs> Reduced. It's amusing. <laughs> Come on, spill it. Details. What happened at the meetings? Well, uh, today's was, was much better. Today's was I'd better? Say. It sure was. It sure was. Yeah. Okay, how, what about the first two? Like, what, well, the first one, the first one was, uh, it was good. I mean, it was Zach's first meeting, so he okay. didn't know really what to expect. But uh, right. he did a good job. He was, you know, in these situations, you kind of want to give broad strokes and general details. Zach got a little specific at times. Oh, I thought that's what he had to do. I mean, well, you were telling I, him to. Well, I did have to do that. The, uh, the producer sort of wanted a cartoon of Superman, which is oh. not what we're going for. Yeah, so no, I had to no, sort of no. explain that. That's yeah. Number one, exactly. number one yeah. I said that because you want to include him in the process. And I don't think it was appropriate in the first meeting to tell him that he was dead wrong. 
Okay, but I mean, you you, you know, you maybe, can't be so rigid so. in these situations. Yeah. You got to be a little more flexible. Stroke the ego. Absolutely. Let him feel like there he's part of the go. team. There you go. Okay. I guess okay. so. But hey, live and learn, right? Right. Live and learn. It was yeah. our first one, and today's was much today's better. went better though, right? Much yeah. better. Good. Much better. Did you order the steak? Lobster? No, I uh, I had a green salad actually. Lucas said it would make me look artistic. Oh, <laughs> I can't help but uh, feel disappointed. For you. Me too. Yeah. I mean, you just, just a little hungry, that's all. Yeah, uh, I'd be hungry too. Looking a little chunky these days. I thought you needed to lose some weight, you know? <laughs> when he went into the coma, his daughter was six weeks old. And just recently, she's now 19, just recently, he was able to tell her that she was pretty and that he loved her. Oh my God, can you imagine? You know, sometimes I feel like I've been in a coma since 1984. Is that right? Yeah, I wake up some mornings and I'm like, are we still in the 80s or what? <laughs> <laughs> Did a lot of drugs back then, eh? Oh. Well, you know, <laughs> no more than the next guy, I guess. <laughs> right. What do you got in there? Oh, I just, um, I just picked a few things up today. Hey? Eh? Mm. You see some uh, colorful objects well, there. Let's me, let's take a gander at that. Well, I just, um, it's just something I haven't been able to do in a while, and I just wanted to do something for myself, so I just picked some things up. But, oh, you know, feminine garments, eh? No, it's not feminine garments, but it's it's just silly. You don't need to look in there. You mind if I have a little peek? Well, you don't really huh? need to. Come on. It's okay. Come on, it's just... come on, come on. Let me have a look, all right? Jeez. Well, I made tons of mistakes when I started working at Grendel's Cave. Oh, yeah? Well, that's your jewelry store? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I would put jewelry in the wrong places. I got ripped off by a professional thief. $300 worth of jewelry. Because, you know, I was oh. taking out another piece of jewelry, and while I was doing that, she pocketed all this other stuff. <gasps> no. But I learned, you know, I learned also now to never take my eye off the customers. Hey, mm. but, you, but you learned. That's the point, right? You learned your lesson. You lost $300 worth of gothic nose rings or something, and you learned <laughs> your lesson. Whereas Robin hasn't even taken the time to find out about $30 million worth of environmental prote protection programs. Huh. It's about learning. You know, I remember uh, one of my first jobs that I had. Oh my gosh, I was so concerned about getting everything right that I would ask, you know, for directions or instructions twice. No way. Yes, you. I kept. Yes, I kept backing. I know. And but this one day, <laughs> after I'd been there for a while, my boss came in and he goes, Brenda, you're doing a great job. You don't have to ask about everything twice. And then he left. And then, second later, he came back around, and he goes, Brenda, you're doing a great job. You don't have to ask about her. He came in twice. But he was so funny. He was such a nice man, a real card. And what was he teaching you about? Corporate protocol. Oh, yes, in a really nice way. In and nice I got way. it. Yeah, you got it. You learned your lesson. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> How long has it been since you played with toys, Johnny? Well, back when I was a little girl in Barry, mm -hmm. I used to play with such toys every now and then. <laughs> this is hilarious. What are you like a like a clown at a kids party or something or what? No. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> <Bonk. laughs> oh, jeez. Bonk. Oh, I'm so, Oh, jeez, are you all right? I'm I got fine. you right in the eyeball. I'm fine. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> Why so glum, scum? Cheer up, man. Uh, Things are getting better, right? You said so yourself. The meeting, the, today's meeting was even better than the better. other days. Yeah. So, and you know, yeah. Mr. Uh, Huckster here, he'll he'll teach you some of the tricks of the trade. You'll get in there. Yeah. Maybe sure, yeah. I will. I'll teach you a couple things. Yeah. yeah you'll uh, teach me how to get a word in edgewise. You know. Yeah. yeah. I didn't uh, really get to say much in the first meeting. You're a little no? busy no? describing Big Man as Superman. Oh. Which is weird because Big Man <clears throat> doesn't wear blue and red spandex. But. You know, the second meeting went 
a bit better. Yeah. Mind you, I think he was a little confused by all the metaphors that Lucas used to uh, describe Big Man. But oh, okay. Again, I think he liked the idea a bit better. Yeah, I see. You know, it's when I was actually allowed to say something. Oh, it's just because okay, you're green, okay? It's just because you're green. You got to learn the ropes. I mean, sooner or later, mm -hmm. you know, you'll intuitively know how to deal with situations that used to baffle you. It's of course. as simple as that. Uh, you won't have to tell me what to do anymore. You, know? right. you won't have to tell me what shirt to wear or huh. what to order at well, the restaurant. I mean, I'll know. Yeah. I'll just know. Yeah, but and you'll, you'll, you'll learn because he's, you know, he's got the experience and yeah. hey, he's the mouthpiece, right? He's the of course guy that he's, does all the talking. He's never actually read Big Man, so. Oh, well, he. So talking about. He'll read it. About though. it is a little bit strange, but, but I mean, these guys, meetings came there's a really creative quick. force and there's a sales force. I'm part of the sales force right now. You're the creative force. It's as simple as that. Yeah. It works out. It's a good, good, dynamic relationship. Yeah. Instead of being angry with Robin, oh, I think God. you I'm should be proud of her angry because she... Angry with her. <sighs> what she... is there to be proud of? Because she is taking a stance in environmental issues. I mean, look at these corporate executives. Why doesn't you know, she take a stance on her own coin? We spend $20 million a year on EPPs, Environmental Protection Programs. Why don't you check out our website? May me educate you oh, yeah, on all your misinformation. With, with corporate propaganda? It's not propaganda. Mm. We actually put these programs into play. Oh, yeah, to get more business for your company. Hey, you no, guys, it's source you guys. reduction. It's uh, use of solvents and processing. Mm -hmm. uh, I, you know, I was busy today. You know, uh, Luke has a soccer game today. And so uh, my little contribution to the environment is uh, I went through the shredder and I made some pom-poms. Nice. Yeah, for his game tonight. Did Reduce, you learn how to make reuse, those? recycle. That is incredible. You should take that on the road, join the circus or something like that, <laughs> eh? Wow. Oh, wow. Hey, do you hear you can buy pot off your doctor now, eh? How do you mean? Five bucks a gram, you can buy pot off your doctor. Like, if you, if you hurt yourself, you know, like, oh, doctor, oh, my foot, I stubbed my toe, give me some weed, I need to smoke a reef. He's like, sure, no problem, five bucks, get your little sack, go out in the parking lot, pound a couple, you know, do a couple hauls on it, you're fine. Five dollars, that sounds like a pretty good five deal. Five bucks, yeah, you should think about that, because I know you're feeling kind of down about your breakup, you know, go to the doc, be like, I'm feeling blue, give me some weed. Johnny, eh? I think you have to have some horrible disease or something to, to get it, though, from the doctor. No, but the doctor sells weed, though. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Check this out. No, 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 stop it. What? Stop it. Oh, are you embarrassed? Don't be embarrassed. <laughs> Embar no, listen, embarrassment is a useless emotion, all right? It's a carryover. It's an evolutionary carryover from the cave days, right? Embarrassment's the fear of being seen, right? And in the cave days, that's what it was, the fear of being watched by predators. Like if you were in the woods, yeah. right, and you had some meat in your sack or something like that, and the predators were watching you, right, then you'd feel embarrassed. You know what I mean? It's a carryover. You don't need it. It's a useless emotion. I, I, I don't really know what you mean. You mean like, like fight or flight kind of thing? Like embarrassment, right? I'm going to go sit with them. No, yeah. Okay. You cannot ignore the damage that the corporations are doing to the I environment. Not, nobody's ignoring it. Not at my company, not at the companies I know of. We're, there are corporations that are very responsible. I am. They are not responsible. It's a facade, and it's all about the business to bring more customers in because, you know, the consumers think that they're viral friendly companies, which they're not. They're using a lot of their profits to go towards um, scientific investigation to come up with new ways of dealing with environmental problems. But it's not equivalent to the cost of the environmental damage that they're doing. I look at Exxon, for example, with all the oil spills. I mean, you know who ends up paying for that anyways? It's a taxpayer. And think about all and the, the devastations that it's doing to the ecosystems, the habitats. It's the waters, the You see all of this way too much as us and them. Like corporations are the big evil monsters trying. You don't think that there are there are people working at that, those corporations. I the people that I work. With. No, I told you to shut up by accident because you weren't letting me talk at all. Listen, this is not a playground, Zach. Johnny, please. What? 
I it's not you, a playground here, I told okay? You to this shut is up. business. I was trying to explain to him you know what, what Big I Man was. I can't even believe what I'm hearing. You confused him with these obscure metaphors. I can't believe what I'm hearing because we wouldn't even be here right now if it wasn't for me and getting those meetings, all right? It wasn't for you. I'm the one who created Big Man. Absolutely. Although you could have fooled them by your whole, you know, we created Big Man. Hey, I only what said that, that to I only said that to provide a unified front so he'd want to get into business with us. With this, you. This, get into business okay, with okay, this okay, okay, okay. It's about relationships. Hey, 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 enough, enough, okay? Stop fighting. You guys are a team, right? Batman, Robin, you guys are, like, you know, the dynamic duo. What are, yeah. what are you doing? Tell him that. Look, yeah, tell look, him that. Lucas, please, Zach, right? I'm sorry, I gotta have to side with Lucas on this, man. What? But he tried to take credit for my idea. No, Johnny, not that. Fart machine? Shh. Somebody might you bought this? Stop it! It was on you sale. You bought this? It was ten ninety nine in the dollar store. Oh, it's an electronic device. I guess you simply had to have it, eh? Uh, oh, shh, oh! Right away. Nicole farted. I didn't know it came with batteries. Put it Everybody, away. Nicole, don't be embarrassed. It's, it's natural to fart. Everybody does. Nicole keeps farting. No. What did you have for lunch, eh? I don't oh, fart. These. I fluff. Oh, oh, of course. Fluff, fluff. Hey, you ever been laid in a while? Excuse me. There you go. Don't tell my wife I laid you, okay? <laughs> no, seriously though, okay? Listen, all right? You need to not be embarrassed about things, okay? You need to realize, right? M, right? Who? M, bear, bear, ass, right? You know what I'm saying? Meant. Do you know what I meant? Embarrassment, right? Some of my best times in life are about being caught with your drawers down. Really? Yeah. With your pants down? Yeah. Good times? Great times, great stories. A lot of laughs, figuratively, you know what I'm saying? You need to just get out there, you need to just drop your drawers. What? Not literally, but you know what I mean? Like, just drop your drawers spiritually. Spiritually? Okay, because I know what it's like being a pretty woman. Well, I mean, I've never been a pretty woman, but you know, I know pretty women, right? You probably saw the movie. I've seen the movie, right? It's not easy for a pretty woman to be goofy. That's right? right. The goofy looking girls get to be goofy and the pretty looking girls, they gotta sit there and be pretty, right? Well, because people judge you and then they think you're stupid or they just, you know, yeah. I hear you, buds. I hear you. All right? It's not easy being a sex symbol, believe me. I know. All right? But listen, you need to do something on this train to let that rip. Whether it's taking this fart machine and going over and farting on somebody or whatever you want to do. I couldn't do that. Oh, I'm, I'm kidding. Not this. All right? But something. Something dare it. Dare yourself. Break out! <laughs> Nicole farted again. I did not. <laughs> You're stinky. No, but I'm saying it was on much music. You know, it's amazing. I do eventually take off the suit every night and uh, <laughs> kick my feet up. And I was watching this gob video, uh, give up to give up to the grudge. Give up to the grudge, where there's like the suits on one side and the skateboarders on the other, and they rush towards each, oh. each other like this big Braveheart moment. You think they're gonna fight, and they end up just dancing wildly in the middle of this oh. field. It's a great video. That's a cool video. And you know you gotta you gotta think of it that way. We'll find common ground. I mean, you're very passionate about this stuff, which which I respect. But what I don't understand is what are you doing about it? What I'm I, it's my music. I put all like environmental issues. It is woven into my music. You know, I educate myself. Each night I'm on the internet trying to educate myself and find out about different issues. I'm doing something, all right? It might not be your way of doing things, but it's mine. Well, you know, Dana, there's a lot of great organizations out there. I mean, you know, we belong to the Metro Zoo and Ducks Unlimited and, and oh, in fact, um, Caitlin came home the other day. Oh my gosh, she was so excited because David Suzuki had been there to talk it's to them. Amazing. Yeah, oh, amazing. well, and they, they even have a foundation. You know, in fact, I'm even starting an initiative at the church. There you go. Yeah, it, it's called CFCs, Christians for Cleanliness. We go to a stretch of the highway and pick up litter. You know, we'd love to have you. Here you go, Dan. That sounds right up your alley. We might get t-shirts made. <laughs> you gotta put your money where your mouth is, Dana. You gotta do something. Look, I'm sorry I'm no good at this whole pitch thing, okay? But I'm not gonna sell Big Man if it means selling him out, okay? So you can have your numbers game, okay? I don't wanna do this. You can have this shirt, in fact. No, no, You can have it back, Jack. okay? Because I'm look, not gonna Jack. do this. Look, Jack, 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 listen. Okay, this is not, this is, this is business, okay? You and I, you and I, we have a relationship outside of this, okay? 
So don't take don't take any of this personally. Not from me. Not from them. Not from anybody. You can do this, man. This is this is this is really. It's about the work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you, you have to realize how lucky you are to be at this position, man. I mean, Jack Kirby and Stan Lee toiled for years, years. at Marvel yeah, before right. anybody would take an interest in their work, let alone their comic books, right? Now, they're, now after like 60 years, their movies are being made. You're at a point right now where thousands of independent artists are toiling away. They would give their left arms to be in your position. You can sell Big Man. You can live the dream. Listen, this is your work, okay? This is, Big Man is you, and nobody can take that away from you. That's Me, right. them, nobody, okay? Just trust in that, believe in that and give me give, give me credit to, to do my thing okay. and if it means swallowing your pride mm -hmm. every once in a while as long as it gets you in that door you're gold man it'll That's be right. good it's for the greater good yeah. yeah absolutely follow his lead absolutely yeah. he'll take you to the promise thank you thank you all right, all right. it's gonna be okay i'm gonna keep this shirt <laughs> it looks good on you it's better on me than it does on you hey okay maybe Hey, you know, I had this idea for a sci-fi book that I was going to write. It was about maybe we should get back to work. You know, we should work. Planet yeah. of so baboons Big Man that were on this. Have, like, red They're cybernetic. No, okay, okay. Uh, okay. A cybernetic yeah, baboons. I, I just thought I'd give them a jetpacks. Right? They're science, like and they would, they they would fly around. Them. <laughs> okay, anytime. Go ahead, anytime. <laughs> Johnny, that was it. <laughs> oh, that was it. Yes. You're, I'm, I'm blushing. I'm embarrassed that you think that's embarrassing. Why? That, all right, not, come that wasn't on. embarrassing. That wasn't embarrassing, right? You really... Something more like... Uh, all right, I'm going to do something. I'm going to embarrass myself, right? Just to give you a hint or something, all right? All right, let's do something like this. Okay. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> like a virgin. <laughs> yeah! Touch for the very first time. Come on, get up. Dance with me. Oh, Jack. Like a bird. Hey, get your heart beat. Woo, next to my yeah, yeah. I'm suitably embarrassed. Me too. All right, you're laughing. That's good, huh? That uh, what was that guy's name again? Max. Max. Oh, if he could see you now. <laughs> Screw him. All right, come on. Like a virgin. Woo. Touch for the very first time. Come on, everybody. <laughs> Like a virgin. Oh, you too, Brett, especially you, like a virgin, eh? When the world's my third class.